God is so good. God is so good. He's so good. He's so good. He's good. He's good right now. Amen. He's good right now. The band just finished playing Wonderful Is Your Name. Wonderful is your name. He's wonderful this morning. He's wonderful this morning. He's the Prince of Peace this morning. Amen. He's wonderful. He's my healer this morning. He's my way maker this morning. He's my provider this morning. He's my protector this morning. He's my all in all. He's the almighty this morning. Oh, what do you call him this morning? Amen. He's a present help in time of trouble. Amen. Amen. You're watching Miracle Temple Church of Deliverance located 601 West Solace Brown Street, Jackson, Mississippi, 39204, where the pastor is Dr. T.J. Calhoun. You're at the right place at the right time. You're at the right place this morning at the right time. You're at the right place this morning at the right time. We praise the Lord for the man of God this morning. Has he been teaching us the true word of the Lord? I know you pray for the man of God as he pray for you. Let's pray one. Let's pray one. We praise the Lord for Mother Jones. Let's keep her in our prayers. Amen. Amen. Mother Amos, God bless you this morning. Mother Georgia Jones, God bless her. Amen. Mother Blackman, we're praying for her. Mother Carolyn, God bless her. Amen. Good to see Pastor Mark. God bless you. Amen. God bless her. God bless you, Pastor Mark. God bless you. Amen. Amen. You're at the right place this morning. They, they, uh, we've been talking about being at the wrong place. You've been watching the news, all these people being at the wrong place. They've been, these kids been getting killed. Being at the wrong place. Some, uh, the, the, the little boy was just going to pick up his siblings, ringing a doorbell, and some racist man shooting him. He was just waiting on somebody to just shoot. Just waiting on somebody. The cheerleaders had the, the cheerleader outfit on and got shot. The young folks that was in the wrong driveway got shot at the wrong place. At the wrong time. At the wrong time. I'm, I'm just happy I'm at the right place this morning. At the right time. I'm at the right place this morning. At the right time. I'm at the right place at the right time. Come on, tell somebody. I'm at the right place this morning. 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 I'm at the right place at the right time. And I came expecting something good to happen to me. Come on, tell somebody, something good is gonna happen to me this week. I came expecting something good. Something good, amen. It's going to happen to me this week. Amen. God bless you, amen. God bless you, amen. God bless you, God bless you. Next Sunday is Family and Friends Day. Next Sunday is Family and Friends Day. Uh, we're inviting all family and friends next Sunday. Next Sunday. Yeah, we're going to have a reward for the, that, that, that person that has the most family and friends. Fam that, that you got the most family and friends, you're going to get an, uh, uh, some type of reward. Right, that, because of your effort. And amen. Amen. We should be doing this anyway, but we're going to do it because of. Amen. Amen. I know that's right. I know that's right. Next Sunday, next Sunday, Family and Friends Day. Next Sunday. Next Sunday, we're going to have a wonderful time. Next Sunday is Family and Friends Day. Then the second Friday, helping Sand Hill at the fellowship. At the fellowship, we're going to just have a, a wonderful time fellowshipping. You're going to eat some good food. Going to have some good food. Well, you're going to definitely eat some food. Uh, you're going to eat food, and 
it, 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 everything is relative now. Everything is relative. Everything is relative. Everything is relative. It will be food for sure. And whether it's good or not, it's going to be, you just be grateful. Uh, amen. All things be grateful. I know that's right. I know that's right. I know that they asked me, they asked me, they asked me, Mother, Mother Amy, they asked me, is it gonna, the tables and stuff going to be decorated? And I said, if you decorate them, <laughs> that's what I said. If you decorate them, they'll be decorated. Other, I know that's right. You heard me, Benita, I said it. If you decorate them, they'll be decorated. Otherwise, they ain't going to be decorated. I know that's right, Brother Willie D. I ain't, I ain't, we ain't going to decorate unless they decorate them. But we will have good food. Everything is relative. And you, we're going to have a good time. That's what we guarantee you is good food and a good time. And you come with a grateful attitude. <laughs> I know that's right. I know that's right. Let me let me let me congratulate my well, two of my sisters. One did, but didn't participate probably just because she just didn't want to participate in the team. Uh, the other one did participate. That 50, 51 year uh, graduation. What do you call that? Uh, golden. Golden graduation from Jackson State University, the I love, Mona and Ting. She was 50, uh, her 50th graduation from, and her 51 year, uh, from, from 51 year, con congratulations, the I love, uh, Jackson State, 50, 51 year from, uh, from uh, Jackson State University, from uh, celebrating. Mona participate team like why, why you didn't tell me about it? <laughs> she didn't tell you about it. Mona didn't tell her about it. I wonder about why we didn't get an invitation or anything because she just didn't participate. But 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 we celebrate both of them for having 50, 51 years of of celeb of graduating uh, 50 years ago from Jackson State University and had a uh, uh, and we congratulate you. The uh, the the. The flowers here. The flowers here. Uh, that, and I, I should have been, uh, been uh, acknowledged them a few a few weeks ago when they were here. Uh, Bailey, Bailey, Chen, Bailey Chen, uh, uh, planted them. Devin, you Bailey, D D Dylan, did you have something to do with that? Bailey and Devin, uh, the flowers, the, the beautiful flower. Bailey is from China, and she has a green thumb, and she came here and planted uh, the, the flowers here at the church uh, from here. Uh, Bailey and Devin, Devin, you and Bailey planted, uh, so Devin, DJ, and Bailey Chen from China. Let's give them a big hand and a big shout out to Bailey for the flowers here at the, uh, at, at the, at the church. And, and notice that the first set I had planted died the, like a week or two afterward. And so I wanted to see if these Somehow these these plants are selective. Uh, they live longer than the plants. Uh, something wrong with this. Something wrong, mother. Cause they got new blooms on them. Huh? They growing. And and you know and and they just growing and so. Uh, 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 so if we could give to Debbie, and we tell Bailey that we gave her a big shout out uh, that they they're growing. Bailey, Bailey, uh, they they're growing, and the ones I planted, they they start dying two weeks afterward. Okay, some people should stick to certain things, so that mean I may not need to be cooking. Planting or something or something, but 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 they they definitely doing well. Amen. Amen. Uh, thank God for the prayers of the righteous. My understanding, Pam is doing well today. God is good. God is good. Look at somebody and tell them God is great. Come on, come on. Let's do better. Than that. My God is great. Come on, my God is great. Come on and 
say it like he's, uh, come on, say it like a personal experience. My God is great. Come on. I serve an awesome God. Come on. I serve an awesome God. Come on, come on. You ain't saying it like a, you, you really, you, you ain't saying it like you know that he's great. Say, I serve an awesome God. He, my God is great. Come on, he, my God is great. Come on, tell somebody, my God is great. My God is great. He's great. He's worthy of my praises. Come on, my God is great. I, and some of you looking, some of you looking like, but the more you praise him, the more you're going to have to praise him for. My God is great. Come on, he, he's worthy of every praise this morning. Come, come, listen, listen to me. The more you, the more you praise God, come on, just think about it. Somebody, you give somebody something and they say thank you. The more you want to give it to them. You just, you just want to just give to them. God is your father. He just want to just, you tell him thank you. He just want to just, and you boast on him. He just want to give more to you. He just want to bless you more. Say, my God is great. He's worthy of my praise this morning. He's worthy this morning. He's worthy this morning. He's worthy this morning. He's worthy this morning. You act, uh, no, no, no. You act like you don't know that he's great this morning. Who woke you this morning? Who started you on your way this morning? Who healed you when you were sick? Many of us, the doctor had pronounced us dead. You know, many of us, we've exceeded our own expectations. But God, but God. We're living in homes that, you know, much bigger than we had ever dreamed of. Driving much bigger cars than we ever dreamed of. Working better jobs than we ever dreamed of. Our God is great. Come on now, our God is great. Our God is great. It, you know, and the, the crazy part about it is, come on, come on. Oh. I get the, the crazy part about it is, the crazy part about it is, this is what crazy is. You ain't seen nothing yet. He wants to do exceedingly abundantly above all that you can even dream of, that you can even imagine. You've not seen it. You've been more than you can even ask or even think according to the power that's working within you. And the power, the crazy thing about it, that power can even work within you until you start praising him, the more you praise him, the power start working more within you. The more you start thanking him, that power works within you. Amen. Amen. Come on, let's worship the Lord this morning. Our God is great this morning. Our God is great this morning. Come on, let's worship the Lord.
gathered in his name to worship him. We have come into this house gathered
Jesus Christ, our Lord. Oh, worship Him, worship Him, worship Him. Oh, worship Him. Lord, I magnify Your name.
Thank you, Jesus. Wonderful Lord, wonderful God. Thank you, Jesus. Glory, 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 glory. Hallelujah. Yes, yes. Woo. Let us pray. Oh, my God, we thank you for your blessing, your kindness, love, tender compassion. Another day and another hour, we thank you for everything you've done. Look up on your people today. Look on Mother Joan today. Bless her. Break their lips. Look on Pam. Break their lips with Sheena. Break their lips with oh God. Break their lips with those that are sick and afflicted. Bless the servants around the world. We ask you to do it now in Jesus' name. Amen. You may have your seat if you possibly can. Wow. Oh, God. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Truly, we thank God for his blessing, his kindness, his love, his tender compassion. Amen. Thank God for his goodness, how good God is. Amen. You know, we need to start thanking God for his goodness. Oh, and his mercy and his grace. Amen. Thank God for his grace. Amen. Amen. God is so good to us that we give God all the praise and all the thanks. Amen. For everything he's done and everything he's going to do. You know, tell him what God going to do. Uh, you know, tell him what God going to do. Amen. So we just give God some praise for it. And amen. We thank God. Amen. How good God heals him. Amen. Thank God, amen. Uh, uh, for Pastor, amen, Mark, the testimony on last week, amen. Amen. Good testimony. 419,507 people. 419,000. Amen. God is so good to us. And, 
Amen. Good. Amen. Amen. People around the world. Amen. Listen to the testimony. Thank God. Amen. For prayer call. Those that are going to be praying with us tonight. Amen. I thank God for the people going to be praying tonight. That says uh, uh, April the, the second, I believe. Yes. Amen. April the second. Praise God. Five hundred. And 71,557 people. Gonna be praying tonight. Have over half a million people. Half a million people gonna be praying tonight. Amen. That's good, isn't it? Amen. Thank God. Amen. A half a million people praying. Amen. Let's thank let's stand and thank God for this one. Can you say amen again? Amen. Thank you. Come on, let's give God some praise then. Amen. We had to give God lots of praise, and, and we thank God, amen, praise God. Last week, amen, we had 16 million, and on this week, we had 16 million. Let's give God a good hand for that. Good hand. 16 million folks. Amen. That's a lot of folks. You may have, hey, let's pray for them. Let's pray for the people around the world. Pray for them now. Come on. Father God, we come now to ask you to bless your people around the four corners of the earth. Touch and bless those that, oh God, that joined in with us in our service on last week. And bless those that are going to join in this weekend. Bless their families, their loved ones, and bring the livers, and bring victory, God. We ask in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 You may have your seat if you possibly can. We give God all the praise and thanks, amen, for just being back in the house of prayer. Amen. And to thank God for what God is doing and what God is going to do for his people. Our God, whom we serve as a great God, a miracle-working God. Amen. We talked about faith, and we were talking about faith on last weekend. And I don't know where we can stop talking about faith, because faith is just to... Is the key. Amen. It, 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 uh, Jesus said to Peter, Amen. Uh, 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 amen. Satan desires to have you. He desires to destroy you. He said, But I pray for you that your faith fail you not. If your faith don't fail you, can you say that again? We thank God, Amen, for what He's doing and how good God is and how He blessing, blessing. You know, Sometimes we get blessing that we don't know we got. God is just a blessing God. And I, amen, and I, I, I just like to say with, with a blessing that God blessed me with. And amen, this is a blessing. You know, God is so good to us. And I'm going to get cotton bills, you know, getting bills ready on last week. Last week, bill, I'm getting bill. Amen. And here was, amen, in my bill. I hadn't looked at it. You know, it opened up, it opened up and it was a, a, it was a check paid to T.J. Calhoun, $3,000. <laughs> that was a blessing. <laughs> $3,000 wasn't too much. They said they owed me that it was a, hey man, it was a company. They said they owed me $3,000. And I thought I had been, <laughs> I didn't know they owed me $3,000. But God. But God is a good God. Can you say amen again? Amen. You never know where your blessing coming from. You, you never know where God going to bless you at. You never, never know. But you can always, amen, depend on God. You know, I talked uh, last week and we were talking about God being a deliverer. And, I, you know, sometimes, amen, we need to realize that God can do anything. And God specialized in the liver. And, and the Bible said, the angel of the Lord to camp around about those that fell here to deliver them. Especially for the livers. Amen. And I'm, I'm so thankful that we have, a, every one of us have an angel in camping around about us. I don't know how many angels I got, I mean. But thank God. Thank God for my angel. Amen. Amen. Just waiting for the amen, you know, to protect you. You know, God watching over you and he's protecting you. 
uh, as you go through this life. Did y'all know that God is protecting you? This is why it's so important to stay in the will of God, where God can protect you. Uh, where God can protect you. You know, amen. It's, we say he's just a spirit, but my Bible says he walks uh, upon the circle of the earth. Uh, he walked. God can walk too. He walked in the garden in the cool of the day. Amen. He, he said he walked. But amen, you know what we were talking about, Peter, amen. I, it, 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 and I'm going to just, three things I want to kind of bring out today because there's times that God brings to a natural thing and a natural way of delivery. The Bible said, now this is no spirit, and I said, I'm telling a story, I'm telling a joke, amen. But the Bible says here that Herod had cut James' head off. Head. I mean, this no, this is real stuff, and that's why sometimes we get why well, we don't have no faith because we don't believe it real. We think it's a story, huh? This this is not a fairy tale. Of, I'm telling you this morning. This is not a joke that I'm saying about James. His head was cut off. And Herod was intending to cut Peter's head off. But a man, but he tried to plead the people, so he put him in the prison to, after Easter, intended to take him. But a man, but it, this would happen with a man. You see, a lot of times we don't we think, well, you know, well, the preacher preached a good something, but, he, but then this Bible is telling you, talking about real stuff. And that's why we don't get delivered because we don't really believe that in reality. We think it's just a joke, it's spirit. And, 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 and this is not nothing to play with. This is real. Amen, it's live. This is amen, this is a lie. Hey, praise God, amen, praise God. It said he had made that, it said he kept repeating in prison, but there was a man, praise God. Peter was kept in prison kept in prison, but prayer was made huh, without ceasing of the church. Prayer, they prayed for him. I'm a real honest to goodness prayer meeting. Now, folks, this is what we got to start us thinking about. This Bible is real. Huh. And amen. It's not just how up your heart I got faith. But this is a God that if you have faith in, he can do anything. So what God can't do. God, well, somebody said, God, they had no hands. He can't do this. Well, somebody built the heaven and it built it out of gold. Huh? Somebody did something. How did stuff is real? Heaven is a real place that you're going to that God filled. The streets of gold. The buildings of gold. And everything is gold. Can you say amen? And that's why we need to come down and be, but this is not something we go to church to play. This is coming to come to church because heaven is a real place and we expect to go to a real place. We expect to leave this old earth one of these days and we expect to meet him in the air. Can you say amen? Amen, praise God. That's why we need to take the Bible more serious. You know, serious. Amen, that God can deliver. They say the prayer of made to continue. And then they, amen, praise God. While Peter was sleeping, they had him bound between two soldiers. Chains. I'm talking real chains. Now you talking about, I ain't talking about no spiritual change. I'm talking about real chain. <laughs> they had him hanging out, bound with two chains. One soldier on one side, another on the other. Two big old changes. When that angel came up there and smoked him on the side, 
those changes fell off his hand. Now, it wasn't no play. This ain't no joke. This ain't. <laughs> I'm going to tell you a story about old Peter this morning. No, no. Peter was bound with two real, honest, long changes that he couldn't get loose. And that's why I say God can do anything. God can deliver us. But I'm going to bring this out to let you know that God delivered Peter, but God also can deliver you. Huh? And somebody said, from what? From anything. If you got a financial problem, you need what? Deliver. You get sick, you need to what? Deliver. If you don't need a job, you need a deliverance. I'm talking real deliverance. I ain't talking about no May 10th. I'm going to up here playing. If you need a house, you need a roof over your head. It says, Lord, we out here playing. Lord, I'm out here because I want you to give me a real roof over my head. I want you to give me a bed to sleep in. You know, yeah, sometimes you look at it a lot of times. We need to tell God plainly what you want. Lord, give me a, <laughs> give me a car. You know, sometimes we think, oh, who is this God we serve is not just somebody that can't do it. Huh? God delights to bless his children. It ain't the idea God can't bless you. God can't bless you. God can't make a way for you. God can't deliver you. God can deliver you. Huh. Amen. What I don't have. Stop right? talking about what you don't have. Talk about what you do have. Stop talking about what you can't get. Can't get. Talk about what you can get. You can get anything. So we, we two changes fell off. Boom. I'm the real. You know, sometimes you have to tell the truth. Those were real uns gonna change. And that angel spoke on his side and said, Rise up and put on. He said, Put, oh, put, hey, hey, put, oh, put your sounds on. Those were real sounds. Of. <laughs> and that's what sometimes we did. Don't play anything. No, those were real things. He said, Put your government on. That was a real government. He said, follow me. Yeah, that was real. I'm talking about real. He said, not plain. It, it was real facts. And he told him to put your clothes on. He talked like, like you and I talking to him. Get up here and put your clothes on. Huh? Come on, now get up and follow me. And this, you know, this is some real, can you say, about it again? And that's why we need to look at it and, and think about it. Amen. And he led him out and he passed the first ward, the second ward, and he came to the iron gate and opened on his own accord. This a real gate. That gate opened on his what? own accord. Amen. And so, See, this is real stuff. We talking about what God can't do. There's nothing God can't do. Well, God can do, amen, the natural, he can do the spiritual. Huh? He can make. Somebody said, well, he can't. What can I? He said, God made Adam and Eve some clothes out of skin. Didn't God make them? God made the, uh, some clothes. I mean, real, real made. And killed this, uh, uh, one of the cows and skinned him and made him with some clothes. Huh? Now you said, well, uh, yeah. and God can't do it. Don't talk about it, but God can't do it. God can't do it. God can do anything. Uh, he can be. He he could build a house if he wanted to. Come on, he's like, oh, God, God couldn't. Yes, God could. He built heaven. 
he could be a your manky. But he didn't say in my father's house that many manky. Now he said, my father's house there are many mansions, mansions. No shacks. Many mansions. Houses. Mansions. People already there were living in mansions. We said, I'm going away to a pair a place for you. Going away to build your mansion. Now, now y'all get what I'm saying? That God going to build you, he already done built mansions. He said, in my father's house, there are many mansions that were not true. I would not told you. But I go to pay you a place. Get you a place. He up there making you a place. Yeah. And look, at, let me tell you something. When he get that make that place better for you, you going home. <laughs> he building on your place, but that's why you better start to working and getting ready. Cause when he get that place ready, he gonna call you home. Huh. He'll give you the key to it. Huh? You'll get the key to your mansion. Huh, when, when he get it ready, he's building, he's working on it. And you're going to stay here until you get it ready. But when God gets your mansion ready, you're going home. So we talk about that. Amen. Then we look over here and I'm going to talk about stuff, real stuff. And Hebrew war, Chamath, Meshach, and Abednego. That's in the third chapter, that third chapter of the book of uh, Daniel. Now, this is real, real. They had, had a big celebration of the golden image. But there were three boys who wouldn't buy to the golden image. They ain't made Shaq, Chamrock, and the Middle and somebody told them, say, those guys, those boys that you brought here is not buying to your image. They, they, amen, they, they're not showing respect to the image. Huh. Now, this is real stuff. So he said, uh, I rule, and he said, uh, amen, if you be ready, amen. And somebody told them, you be ready. Now, he told them, if you be ready, by this time tomorrow, the same music gonna come down the same street. And if you be willing and buy to this image, huh? Which I have made a man well, but if he worship not, he shall be casted. The same hour went to the burning, the, the midst of the burning fire flame. You know, we said, same hour you're going to be thrown in the fire, real fire, not made ten fire. And same hour, praise God, if you want to worship, they call that worship. He shall, uh, uh, amen, if you don't, you're going to be the same hour, cast into the burning fire. And who is that God that shall deliver you out of my hand? Who is he? He's able to deliver me. See, now that's why we got the amen. God don't have no respect for the devil. Because he can deliver you in the devil put on you. Can you say amen? Amen, praise God. Hey, Amen. Then the old Cain looked around and said, the Shamrock may take it a bit ago. Amen. Hey, <laughs> they, they answered and said to the Cain, Oh, Cain, Nebuchadnezzar, we're not careful to answer thee in this matter. If it be so, our God, whom we serve, is able to deliver us from the burning fire. fire. God that we serve is able to deliver on fire. Nobody been in the fire. Now you, you, just cause that ain't never happened don't mean it can't happen. Nobody never been in the real fire. They ain't never thrown nobody in no real fire. 
in our day. Maybe in, their, maybe in that day where he spoke, maybe they'd been cast him in the fire for in, in that day. But in our day, ain't nobody been in there. And those old boys said, we're not careful. Then they went on to say, if it be so, our God, who we serve, is able to deliver us from the burning fire fire. Now you look at it and think about what God can do. Amen. In the midst of the cane, he's looking up in the cane. The cane got blood in his eyes and said, if you don't wish it by God, you're going to the fire punch. And they looked at it, ran straight back at him with their faith. So our God, whom we serve, is able to deliver us. Uh, yeah, God, God. <laughs> Amen. Able to deliver us. <laughs> Amen. If it be so, our God, whom we serve. Amen. Praise God. Amen. Deliver us from the burning fire. Huh? And he will deliver us out of thy hands, okay? And he will. They spoke like that in their faith. And God will deliver us. Uh, you look at that tell the devil God and God will deliver oh! glory to God hallelujah amen praise God amen it was the fire fight and, every, <laughs> and he will deliver us out of thy hands O king God was going to get out of thy hands O king glory to God Amen. I know it's your amen sometimes, but but if not, huh? Now that's this faith. This is what faith is all about. If not, if not, now you got to put that. If not, we ain't gonna change our mind. <laughs> now, 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 now this is what faith is all about, my friend. If not, we are not gonna change our mind. We're going to burn, but we ain't going to change our mind. Huh? That's what faith is all about. You got to understand, we talk about faith. Amen. Yeah, well, if, if God don't deliver by tomorrow, we won't change minds. No, 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 no. He said, if God don't deliver us, we're going to the fire for it because we ain't going to change our mind. We're going to burn. <laughs> We're going to burn, praise God. If it be so, I got able. I forgot whom we serve is able to deliver us huh. from the burning fire fun. He will deliver us out of the hands of Cain. But if not, be it known unto thee, O Cain, that we will not serve thy God. We don't serve thy God. <laughs> so you can forget that. You can kind of forget, forget, amen. If uh, we're not going to serve, we, you know, it's time out for wishy-washy stuff. It's time out to stop playing church and start to realize that God is a real God. He's not a play God, a made pretend God. He's a real, honest, forgiveness God that is able to deliver you out of the hands of the devil. No matter how many times you read this, you need to read it with the understanding that God is a real God. And they had a real problem. And they need nobody could deliver them from but God. And sometimes you get into stuff, can't nobody help you but God. Huh? Nobody could save their life for these uh, three boys but God. Nobody could keep them from burning but God. Huh? Huh? But God, you see, God is God. The one thing about God, he's going to make sure they did put them in the fire point that he could let them know that he was God. Sometimes God like to prove himself to the devil. And let the devil know he is God. And God will deliver you. <laughs> Amen. 
They went on to say, praise God. Amen. But if not, be it known unto the thee, O Cain, that we will not serve thy God, nor worship the golden image which thou hast set up. Then would Nebuchadnezzar feel full, full of fears, and, and, and the form of his better and was chained against those three boys, Shamrock, Meshach, and Abednego. Huh. Therefore he spake and commanded that they should be, that, that they should heat the furniture seven times more than it was wanted to be heated. He would turn around and heat the furniture seven times hotter. Turn the furniture up. Seventeen, seven times hotter, praise God. Otherwise, the, other the devil put that up. Sometimes the devil puts some on you let it get worse, let you make sure that you bow down to him. Worship him in Amen. But they wanted to make it hotter. Seven times hotter. He commanded the most mighty man that he, it was in his army. Divine Shamrock, Meshach, and Abednego, and cast them into the burnt furnace fireplace. The most powerful men he had to tie them up, bind them. Something they can't get loose. And cast them into the fire pine. Oh, Lord. You didn't got to know this is it, 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 sometimes. God let them, like the devil, let them know, let, like to let the devil know he got you. He let the, let the devil know, say something like devil, I got you now. That was the devil thought he had Jesus on the cross. He said, I got it. Sometimes the devil gets you on the spot where he say, I got you. Ain't no way out. So, uh, amen, praise God. He let all the loans and all the people close the back on you. You can't get no money. You can't borrow no money. No more about to lend you no money. The devil would like to know, praise God. <laughs> oh, come on, say, praise God. But God like to let the devil know that in the midst of all of this, he still can farm a milk out of nothing. He still can give you a miracle. Huh? Amen. Somebody said, well, my God, they got my car on the, already on the truck. They hadn't pulled out of the driveway yet. Hallelujah. <laughs> they only got on the truck. They ain't got out of the driveway. They going to have to get that off of the truck. Huh? Amen. Had more mighty men he had to put them on the bottom and come to him. Praise God. Amen. And these men was bound in the clothes. Uh -huh. The hat. Had the hat on. And that garment. And was cast into the midst of the burning fire fire. Had the clothes on. Everything on. I mean, they make sure you can burn them up. Let's see what's going to happen here. They had the hats on, had the clothes on, had all the clothes on. Throw them in the fire fire. This is why I said we serve a God that we can trust and we can depend. Huh. This is kind of like where you say, I will never leave you, never forsake you. I'll be with you always. <laughs> uh, amen. Praise God, praise God, amen. But they had to, that's the maiden name, coat on. The host, the hat, the garment, and was casted into the midst of the burning and fire furnace. Amen. Therefore, be, because the king commanded, commanded with urgent, the fire furnace exceeded the heart. Flame of fire, fire amen. Through those men that took up Meshamra, Meshach, and Abednego. And that was, and these three men, Shamra, Meshach, Abednego, fell down 
bound in the midst of the burning fire furnace. In the midst. The, the church would have. Yeah, at the bottom they were bound. Fell down in the midst of the and the fire furnace bound, no hope. Then Nebuchadnezzar the came with trouble. Rose up in haste, spake and said unto the council, Did not we cast three men into the midst of the fire? Didn't we get three? He was counting. They answered and said unto the king, True, O king. He answered and said, Lo, I see four men. <laughs> Something going wrong. He said, I see four men now. And he got the idea. He said, Did not we get three down there? He said, Yes. But sir, I'm looking right. Trouble. He said, Now nah, I see four. Four. <laughs> okay, count around me. Can I count it? <laughs> I see four. Uh, you catch four down there, but I see four. Praise God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Mm. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Then never again after they came was the sun and rose up in haste and spake and said, Unto the council did not we cast three men bound into the midst of the fire. The elders said unto the king, True, Lord. He elders said, Lo, I see four men loose. Did he say? I see four men loose. <laughs> they ain't bound. He said, I see four men loose. He had his most strongest men he had to tie their hands and tie their feet and throw them down in the midst of And the king said, wait a minute. They fell bound at the, uh, in the midst of the fire furnace. But now the king looks at I see four. Four men loose. Look, look, look. <laughs> they ain't bound. They're right now. You know what I'm shouting about, man. They're down there shouting, dancing in the fire fire. Could you imagine, hey, man, people loose down there and, and, and in the midst of the fire fire dancing? Shout, praising God. He said, I see four. Amen. Isn't that amazing? Glory to God. Glory to God. Amen. And he answered and said, Lo, I see four loose walking in the midst of the fire. Wait a minute, I see four walking in the midst of the fire. And they have no hurt. The fire ain't even burning. They have no hurt. And the form of the of the fourth is lacking the Son of God. The form of this full man is like the son of, like Jesus. Walking, hey! Form of the full is like Jesus. In the midst of that fire. Isn't that blazing? Hey, glory to God. Say the form is like in the son of God. Uh oh. Then Shabbat. Then, uh, you know, I guess they got half an old king. Amen. Now he's wondering what's going on. Amen. I wonder what happened. Amen. This, this man here. And it is that old king. Well, let me see how I skip that. Amen. Let's get that. Amen. He's, he, and he's on the floor. 
in the midst of the burning fire. And he said, wait now, wait a minute, something strange is happening here. Amen. Then came, Nebuchadnezzar came there to the mouth of the burning fire flame. And spake and said, Shamak, Meshach, and Abednego, each servant of the Most High God. If not, he died in your castle. Now, each servant of the Most High God. Amen. Servant of hope, the Most High God. Amen. Come forth. And they came hither, and the Shamrock, Meshach, and Abednego came forth of the midst of the fire. Isn't that amazing? And he came forth out of the midst of the fire. And the princes and the governor and the captain and the king council being greatly gathered together saw these men upon whom body the fire had no power. Right. Upon whose body the fire had no power. The faith, look what faith can do. <laughs> look what faith can do up on the body of these four men. The fire had no power. My Lord. You know what amazing? The fire had no power. Glory to God. And no power. Now was thy head, head of thy head swing. To have the head when he swing. In the midst of fire and seal the, the head he swing. Look at God. And that's why I would like to and like you said, God is not only a spiritual God, but he also is a natural God. He can do spiritual things and natural things. This was a natural thing, huh, that God was gonna do. Because that fire, let me say it, was real fire. It wasn't up here saying that I come up here and I want you to know that I want to tell the story of the three he was. Ain't no story. This is reality. It's the truth. This is for real. This was fire that you use in your house. Real fire that these men were put into and God to live with them. Wasn't no hurt. It didn't scorch him. It didn't burn him. Because God is real. And I like to say God is real today. No matter what we're going through, God is real. No matter how hard it is, God is real. No matter how impossible it looks, God is still real. I don't know how your back against the wall. If you have, and Jesus said, if your faith don't fail you, you're going to see a real reality. You're going to see a real deliverance. Amen. Then the swing to hell wasn't even swing. My Lord, amen. Isn't that something? Praise God. If I didn't have no power to abide, uh uh. Amen. Then he went on to say, Praise God. He never gave that a speck and said, Behold, be, oh, be the God of, and God, and said, Blessed be the God of Shamrock, Meshach, and Abednego, who has, huh? <laughs> who has, this way he said, Who has, who, it, it, let me say it again. Who has sent his angel? Sent what? An angel. Come on. Blessed be the God of Shamrock, Meshach, and the Billy Goat, who has sent his angel. Angel. God sent his angel and delivered his servant huh, that trusted in him. And delivered his servant that trusted in him. God sent his angel. Come on, God. I said angel. <laughs> that fourth man. 
Amen. To deliver that trusted in him. Amen. It trusted in him. Praise God. And, 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 amen. That was a praise God. We had an amen. We can have a, we had a, who has sent his angel to deliver his servant that trusted him. And have changed. Wait a minute. Change the Cain's wood. Did what? Change the Cain's wood. Huh, huh, come on. Uh, 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 it looked like he made a believer out of the cane. Made a believer out of the cane, changed the cane wood. And healed our body that they might not serve nor worship any God except their own God. <laughs> yeah. Amen. Change the cane wood. Listen, you know, God is God. You know, I want to say we real God. I'm not talking about a play God this morning. I'm talking about the God that we are serving in the church day is a real God who changed the devil's mind. This God that we serve make a believer out of the devil. No wonder if one writer said the devils believe in tremble. <laughs> they believe it too. They know it's real. They know God is real. They know God has power. So they came, uh, my Lord, praise God. Amen. As a man of serving, we should know other God except their own God. Therefore, I make a decree that every people, the nation, and language, we speak anything against. It's against the God of Shamrock, Meshach, and Abednego shall be cut in pieces. <laughs> he made a plea very out of Any by the speaker word this Shamrock, Meshach, God, we're going to cut him in pieces. I'm talking about this is real. He made a believer out of him. He changed the king's word, praise God. Uh oh, hallelujah. Let me, hey, cut in pieces. And the houses shall be made a done hill. Because there is no other God that can deliver out this soul. No other God that can deliver out this soul. No other God that can deliver no other God that can deliver the way this God can deliver you. I don't care how you've been delivered, there's no other God that can deliver you like this God. As Cain said, if they said, said it, said, hey, yes, God, anything, but the, oh, my God, my God. Talking about this guy. Amen. The house shall be done here because there is no other God that can deliver out this soul. No other God. Hallelujah. No other God that can deliver you this way. See, that, 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 that's why I want to talk to you about real reality. Church is not a play place. Church is called the place of deliverance. Huh? I believe it ought to be called the place of deliverance because God, the God that we serve in this house is able to deliver you from whatever your problem is and whatever you're going through. I know. And I no.
I know he can. And I know he can. God will deliver you. I thank God. No matter what you're bound by, God will deliver you. No matter how long you've been bound, God will. Yes, it will. Somebody ought to say, yes, he will. Glory to God. My Lord, my God, my Savior, my way maker, my deliverer, trust him. If you trust him, he will make a way for you. Can you say amen? Have you ever tried my God? Have you ever tried my God? Huh? I know change don't came mine. Somebody said, thank you, Jesus. Stand to your feet. Oh, Lord. I don't know what you're thinking about this morning, but I know if you trust, he will deliver you. He will deliver you. Let us pray. Father God, bless every person that's here today. One by one and name by name, bless your people around the four corners of the earth, whatever their problem is. Let them know they serve a real God, a God that can and a God that will bring reality in to their lives. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you, Lord. Woo! You may have your seat. Well...